You know, the scriptures never shy away from telling us about rewards. In fact, the scriptures do not pretend that both choices are equally valid. And just choose the one that is your truth. In Deuteronomy 28, when God's speaking to Israel, he says very clearly, you have a choice. One is death, the other is life. Unequivocally. And when Jesus calls his disciples, he says, not one of you who's given up homes or families will not see more than this when the kingdom comes in fullness. When Jesus tells this parable, he doesn't say, a man found a piece of scrap metal one day and it was valuable to him because he knows what to do with scrap metal. <laughs> you guys. He says, no, no, it's a treasure. Like unequivocally, this is a treasure. He doesn't say an eccentric collector of seaweed found a piece of seaweed and decided to frame it one day. No, no, let's be clear, this was a pearl. The parable doesn't hide from us the gain that comes. That's why these parables are not actually about sacrifice at all. They're not about how much the man gives up, but how much the man gains. I know why we're nervous about rewards because we, we've, in America, been exposed to the prosperity gospel. And so we've heard people say, follow Jesus and your life will work out. Follow Jesus and you'll have miracles and follow Jesus and your bank account will grow. I've heard it all. I lived in Tulsa, you know. <laughs> Come on, somebody. But the prosperity gospel is not wrong because it promises us too much. It's wrong because it promises us too little. It's mistaken the treasure as health and wealth and the American dream when the gospel's truest treasure is Jesus. It's Jesus. Jesus is the treasure. Jesus is the pearl of great price. Jesus is our exceedingly great reward.